But I want to go to Senator McEwen again and talk a little bit about public defender piece, um, because one of the one of the legislative uh, decisions that has already been made, and, and as I understand it, the governor has signed the bill, uh, involved a, a substantial injection of funding into our public defender system. And maybe you could tell us, Senator McEwen, what that was all about and the significance uh, to the people of the state of Minnesota. Absolutely. I'd be happy to. And I, I think I neglected in my introduction to, to also note the committees that I'm on. I'm the chair of the Senate Labor Committee. I'm the vice chair of Environment, Legacy and Climate. And I'm also on the Transportation Committee um, and um, the Energy Committee. So um, I but as to for the on to the public defenders issue, this is um, an issue that has been a long time coming. Um, public defenders in our state and around the country um, are chronically overworked <laughs> and um, have enormous caseloads. And, and the staff also that works at the public defender's office um, carry enormous caseloads trying to support those cases. Um, I think that um, what we've seen and what we've heard called for in the last couple of years are, are is a couple of things. One is pay parity with prosecutors. That's also always a big deal uh, when public defenders and prosecutors compare their salaries, even though they may have the same sort of uh, trial experience and um, um, years under their belt doing this work for the community, um, public defenders have been paid less than prosecutors doing um, the work on the other side of the, the courtroom. So um, that pay period parity is a really big deal. And then just the increased funding for all of the offices around the state. And one of the things that has been really um, heartening to see, and we've seen it across the the um, two uh, houses, the House and the Senate, and, and then the governor's administration recognizing this as well. Um, in the House in particular, we saw uh, Representative Jamie Becker Finn just really, she, she's a prosecutor and she brings that knowledge that the system doesn't work without public defenders, right? No matter how you feel about a certain case, we all um, have strong emotions around um, different stories that we may hear about things that happen in our in our community, uh, sp spanning the spectrum. But part of the fundamental foundation for our society is that everybody deserves a, a defense a fair defense to be presumed innocent until they're found guilty um, and to have that vigorous defense. So the, the public defender system is just essential in our state and the integrity of that system is built on funding it adequately. So it's really good to see. Uh, two quick points about that. One of the issues with the public, public defender services, of course, uh, many of our viewers, not all, um, but many of our viewers um, are from greater Minnesota and um, public defender resources in greater Minnesota have been a particular issue. And this funding improvement may very well uh, help with that problem. The other point that I wanted to make is that uh, this was a bipartisan effort, as I recall the vote. Yeah, right. that's well, my understanding.